Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Delta Executor. I did put out a really similar video yesterday on another Executor. However, they didn't really have the best UI design. So I thought I'd make another video on this. So the creator of this Executor reached out to me and he asked me if I could showcase this for him. And I gave it a go, I looked at the UI design, I looked at the features and it was really clean, it was really good and they've got their own built in script hub so I thought I'd kind of you know, test it out and upload it. Uh, it's similar to, I think it was called Vega or Vega X, Vera X, something like that. Uh, and they has like a script hub built in. So this is really similar to that, they've got their own script so you don't really have to go out searching for scripts. I think they update that regularly as well so when the new games popular games come out uh, you can get all the popular scripts within the hub uh, anyway so the download link is going to be in the description before you even download it uh, come down here and type in virus and threat protection and go into manage settings right here make sure you got this turned off so it's not a virus however when you download an executor uh, it always gets auto deleted it's just something your PC does, so make sure you've got that turned off, otherwise the EXE is going to get deleted and then a lot of people comment on my videos saying why isn't it working, like why is the files missing, that's the reason, so make sure you've got your antivirus turned off, you can turn it back on at any point, so that's not really a problem. Uh, also you can need a program called WinRAR, that's like a you know, free program, you, re you don't really have to pay for it, so that's not really something you need to worry about so here's the spelling for Venera you can just type this into Google and you can download it this only works on Windows 10 but I haven't tested it on Windows 7 or 8 uh, on Mac I'm 100% sure it doesn't work I'm not exactly sure about Windows 7 and 8 so you can test it out there but it definitely doesn't work on Mac um, anyway so yeah so it's de it definitely does work on Windows 10 you can try it on 7 or 8 um, but once you've got it downloaded, you're going to right click it and you're going to click on extract to make sure you go WinRAR or any other sort of um, extracting program. Uh, just click on extract to Delta. It's going to give you another folder. You're going to open that up. You're going to open that folder up. And this is the EXE right here. You're going to double click that and you're going to click OK. And it's going to bring you the executor right here. So you can see you've got the script hub right here. You've got settings. So if you go into settings, uh, you can turn on topmost so topmost basically always keeps it on top so you can see i'm dragging this on top but it's, this is still on top if i turn that off now it's behind that uh, opacity if you turn that on it kind of like you can see through it if that makes sense uh, drag drop i'm not exactly sure what it does fps unlocker so if you've got like more than like if you've got you know if you've got more than a 60 hertz monitor if you turn that on uh, you get more frames in game. Usually it's capped at I think around 60. Uh, Pipe Finder, I do have a hint. I kind of know what this does. I, I used to know what it does. It's pretty much some sort of like, I think it's something to do with like scripting. Uh, voice mode, like I've never seen a lot of these features. Uh, Auto inject, so when you turn that on, uh, this feature is Delta API only as of now. Okay. So if you turn that on, it basically automatically injects, so you don't have to press inject uh, every time you go into a game. So this is the inject button, you don't have to press that every time you load up, uh, load into a game. Uh, auto execute, I don't re recommend using this, but this automatically executes a script. Kill Roblox, that basically just crashes your Roblox. Uh, these are the themes, so you got the grey, the purple, the red, the yellow. I personally just like the grey one, uh, or the default one, I prefer that one. Uh, Delta API, these are all the other AP, okay, so you got all these APIs that you can use, so this is the Delta's API, then you got the Zeus, uh, then Folk Ultra, and these are like all the popular, you also got the Kernel API, um, update DLLs, so, update the DLLs, so I've, like, I haven't, okay, there you go, so you can see there's more DLLs being downloaded, uh, this is the Kernel API right here, there's a Zeus X, uh, I think it downloads more as they update it, so I think it's like a bootstrap, but it automatically gets updated, so you don't really need to download this, or like you don't have to download this regularly, you just download it once, and that's pretty much it, so you've got it forever, you can just update it from here. Uh, I'll try out the kernel API, because I haven't actually tested this before on this, um, I didn't really test most of these features, I just went straight into the game, 
Uh, then go to script hub. So you go dog hub, which I believe is like something people always look for. And the other one's owl hub. Okay, there it is. I was about to say, do they have owl hub? So you can see all these popular hubs, they've already got it built in. Then you've got the console over here. Uh, small note, turn on voice mode from settings if you want me to speak. Okay, so this is a word. Okay, so you can actually speak to this as well. Uh, then you go to the game hub, so you can choose any game. So for example, if you click on Arsenal, uh, please inject to execute scripts. Okay, so I just have to inject and then I can click on Arsenal and it's going to give me Arsenal scripts. These are all the popular games that it currently has uh, by default. Uh, then you can open a file that's basically opening the script. This is going to clear any scripts. Uh, it's going to open. Okay, so this is. Alright, there's even more scripts. So you got silent aim, uh, open source, undetected. So these, like, I, I do remember a few months back, there were literally no silent aim scripts left for Phantom Forces because they patched everything. Um, but this, so if once you click here, you get the actual text box. So you got. You can put your own script in here. Or you can go ahead and execute any of these scripts. Anyways, that's enough talking. Let's actually go in game. We're gonna go into Arsenal and let's see if it auto injects. So auto injector is on. It's currently it did say waiting. And now you saw the loading bar. I can't. I don't really know if you, if you did see that. Uh, but it's loaded, so that means it's injected. Alright, so I do want to point out two things. That's why I had to cut out there. Um, because I was trying to figure something out. So the Delta API, if you've got this toggled on, uh, you're going to be able to use auto inject. So earlier when it gave me the error, it was just telling me that you can't use auto inject with any of the other APIs. I did try the kernel API, but I do think kernel is currently patched. They haven't really updated it. Uh, so kernel API didn't really work for me, but I'm sure the other APIs do work. I'm going to stick with the Delta API for now. It has auto injected for me. I believe I do have auto injection on. Yes, I do. So if you go into injection on, currently only supports Delta API. I do recommend just sticking to Delta API because this is the Delta executor. Um, and they do have a really good API as well. Anyway, so we've injected. Let's go over to the script hub. I want to try out the Owl hub. Click on execute and there we go. So Owl Hub is supported. That's what a lot of people care about. Like, I don't know why people love Owl Hub uh, and also Dark Hub, um, but there you go. So this is the minimize button that basically just closes it and you can reopen it. Uh, there we go, set an aim. It does show it down there as well. So this pretty much does support, I believe, like every single script. Uh, if you want to try out yourself, like I said, the download link will be in the description and there you go. That's the Delta Executor. I do think this Executor has to be one of the best because it supports multiple APIs which you can like instantly switch from. Uh, along with also, let me just see if I'm using. Okay, I am. Uh, it, it supports pretty much like over five APIs that you can switch from at any point. Uh, so if one of them is patched, you can instantly go back to another one. So for example, like kernel gets patched a lot. Uh, obviously, like every single executor gets patched, but kernel does have slow updates. So if you want to switch to another API, uh, you can do so instantly instead of like waiting for your favorite executor to update. So this is pretty much like five executors built into one, if that makes sense. And the best thing about it is there's no key system. So you don't need to like every 24 hours get a new key. And that's pretty much it guys. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.